Now, Storm Tracker 13 with the area's most powerful HD live Doppler radar. Well, it may feel like summer out there, but it's not going to hang around for long. Fall is slowly creeping in on us, 18 days to go and counting. So are you ready, yay or nay, out there for pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkins, flannels, as well as mums, and even sweater weather to come? Even this week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, temperatures only in the upper 60s and lower 70s with overnight lows in the 40s. But we got to get there first. Live dual Alpha radar shows nothing in the way of any precipitation to talk about out there. For now, the clouds, yes, they're back with us and they're going to be on the increase this afternoon as a cold front starts to squeeze us in from the west. And with that cold front, we're getting some decent southwesterly breezes at 5 to 15 miles per hour and that's going to boost the temperature up despite the clouds that you're seeing above. Yes, we're getting our fair share of sunshine breaking on through and that's allowing us to get close to the 80 degree mark in many neighborhoods despite that cloud coverage and there's that breeze that we're talking about out of the southwest upwards of 5 to 15 increasing to 20 miles per hour a little bit later on. So we had a few speckles of green on the map this morning. Very, very stray showers that were moving on through a little ripple in the upper levels of the atmosphere, but most of us getting away dry. Cold front though comes in by tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. As you're heading off to work in school across northeast portions of Kentucky, southeast Ohio, and across portions of West Virginia, you may need the umbrella and the rain gear for a couple of downpours. We'll catch a break, the atmosphere reloads, and then we'll do it all over again by lunchtime, the dinner and supper time hours still seeing those showers and storms cruising on through not looking at any severe weather based upon the clouds but likely to see some heavy rainfall amounts around a half an inch to an inch and a half in many locations with some gusty winds the other big weather story well it's Irma and look at that eye the hurricane hunters flying through the storm pressure at 944 millibars as of the 11 a.m. advisory and winds upwards of 120 miles per hour with wind gust over 140 miles per hour. Where's this thing going to go? Well, the Leeward Islands will be first Tuesday night into Wednesday. After that, it's the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and then the Bahamas once we get towards Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. After that, for the United States, we just don't know yet as the models are having a hard time because there's a trough that's digging down as well as high pressure off to the east that's going to try to steer this thing somewhere up the east coast. So stay tuned. We'll have a clearer view on the forecast and don't freak out because we got a lot of time to go before Irma gets here. Tuesday and Wednesday, though, showers and storms here, umbrellas up, taste the fall Thursday and Friday.